Hello sluts, whores, and motherfuckers, and welcome to the Beatles Vibe and Review, unofficial theme song. Anyway, into 1967, Paul here seems to be wearing a sort of orange version of the Shea Stadium jacket, and the Beatles wore multiple outfits throughout the Strawberry Fields Forever music video, which they were filming here, such as this sort of homeless look from George. And Paul here, unusually dressed in block colours, which I think makes him look a bit like a cartoon character. They painted a piano in an unusual manner. That clashes. I don't like that. I do not like these clashing colours. Red jumper, red tie, red suit. Really does not go, Paul. Zero out of ten. Very poor showing. And that unusual headscarf. Fuck off. John, looking very bad. Hold on, is that Lewis Capaldi? How unusual. A casual outfit here from Paul for a casual meeting with his casual friends. George seems to be wearing half the population of the polar ice caps in that coat. Anyway, here is the Beatles in formal red coats for a little horse ride, as you do. And then maybe a tea party. The Beatles wore various unusual clothing through 1967, including these checkered jumpers made for them by this Japanese journalist. Looking a bit pale there, Cynthia. John wearing a rather queer outfit there, as is Paul. Even Brian Epstein caught on to this crazy fashion phrase. And here they are in the Sergeant Pepper suits for the June 27th. Fucking what? The June 1967 album, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, which is possibly the Beatles' most revolutionary album yet, with crazy songs such as Lovely Rita on it. Absolutely fabulous. Here we can see the mop top Beatles looking down, very sadly, as the new Beatles are born, these crazy drug fueled mules wearing colourful outfits. One of the songs was a big for the benefit of Mr. Kite, which John Lennon has pictured here in a crazy granddad jumper. Got the inspiration from, from a poster. Here he is with his fiance, Yuka Ono. George looking very nice here with his dapper beard, very scruffy. And then they went on open circuit television all over the world, broadcast by satellite. To record All You Need Is Love and play it out for all the ears in the universe to hear. Ringo wore quite a snazzy purple number for that. George went to Woodstock. According to him, it was absolutely fucking shit and he wore some funky trousers. Trousers weren't shit. Trousers were quite nice and he wore some heart sunglasses, as I remember. Then the Beatles went off to India for a bit of meditation. And when I say India, what I mean is an Indian-style rented room. In Wales. I went to Wales on Saturday and it was an absolute shithole. Fucking woman gobbing in the streets, spitting up massive balls of flame. Piles of rubbish piling up on the sides of the street. Everyone all looks so depressed. Awful place. I fucking hate Wales. Ringo seems to be wearing a rather non-vegetarian outfit there. John looks very happy to be here. But unfortunately, the Beatles were shocked and stunned to find out their manager, Brian Epstein, had died while they were off meditating. Exciting new offer. Shame that Paul isn't wearing a matching badge that says buy one, get one free. In fact, he doesn't look very bothered that Brian Epstein had died. Uh, he does here because he actually became homeless. He ran out of money. So he thought, no use sitting here being all depressed. Let's pick myself up and go on a fucking bus. And that's what the Beatles did. They sort of went around, bought some tickets off this dodgy looking man on a bus. I always find it very weird the Beatles had a sort of love affair throughout their whole career with granddad jumpers, considering they were youth icons. John with a non vegetarian hat, I do not approve. Filming Eye on the Wall is a very clear photo. This you can see every follicle of George's face, every single cell. Crazy Indian outfits for some crazy Indian boys. Crazy Indian coloured trousers. Beatles did a touch of throwing and catching. George went out for a rather miraculous header. Ooh, who's that I see in the background with a big flower on them? John, what an icon. Big fucking sunflower, Vincent van Gogh. The boys maxing and relaxing all cool here on some sort of grassy hill. Like that outfit from John. And got to remember... He's got two wives and a kid to support. 
playing the piano on the streets. I think he's going to hit, get hit by a bus sitting in the middle of the road like that. Nice orange jacket anyway. John with a very little coat. Paul with a blue shirt there. And they all went to the strip club, which I think is quite nice. That coat, that yellow coat, they all got different ones. It seems to be going around because here, George has it on. Every beagle except Paul seems to have worn this yellow coat. How unusual. Then they all wear freaky fucking animal costumes. What an unusual bunch of men. As you can see here, Paul is wearing a black carnation, which denotes he has skin disease, of course, as we all know. I think this is a lovely photo. Because even though we think of the Beatles as these crazy gods of rock, really, they did every night. What they did is they went to a hotel or a bed and slept like normal people. And here we see the Beatles in a candid sort of position, sat in a hotel room, which is something I have done myself. Then they released Magical Mystery Tour. This is of a US release. The UK only got the EP. This is the United States LP with these freaky fucking animal masks. John looks absolutely fucking scared out of his mind. Here they are in a rather stodgy appearance in their animated film Yellow Submarine. Here's John doing some sign language. Oh, God, look at those sideburns. Really don't like that mutton chops. Paul wants again the granddad jumper. What is it with the Beatles and granddad jumpers? I have no idea. Ringo looking rather young in the face with absolutely no facial hair whatsoever. And granddad's tie. George in a simple white shirt looking rather thin here. In a suit looking rather formal. Patty boy looks like a crazy cat lady. And they all thought, fuck it, let's go off to India with this rather toothless man you can see in the top right, Maharishi Mahesh Yogi. Everyone looking rather quite into this meditation thing. And if I know correctly, Ringo is wearing George's trousers, as you will see them later. Note the red and black stripes. You will see them again later. Don't forget! John with a dodgy haircut there. Anyway, let's move on. There's the dodgy haircut in better definition. After India, they came back, decided to stop wearing shirts. <gasps> There's the trousers and did the mad day out. <gasps> There's the trousers, the mad day out photo shoot for the White Album. Please keep off the grass. What a bunch of fucking rebels. How cool. Paul was channeling Freddie Mercury in this photo. And George had a rather large rod. All having a little fight on the roof, are we? Not the first time that happened to the Beatles. And certainly not the last. Paul looking like some sort of... 1870s gay man. Ironically, John is in his rooftop coat. Very casual look from George here. I absolutely love this outfit. The t-shirt with the tie and the funky trousers. The big red coat looking very dapper indeed. Ringo of a nice yellow and blue number like Oxford United Football Club. I have no idea why this photo of the Beatles is used so much in advertising. Look at Paul's hair. He's so ugly. That's the worst photo of him ever. George looks all right. John looks awful. And Ringo looks awful. Why is this the photo that everyone uses? Why would you go on iTunes for the first time as the biggest band in the world? Would you use this shit photo? Really not on. Really don't like that one. Disgusting. Uh, chunky lad there. And the Beatles all in white. Wonder what they could be doing all in white. Fucking freaky man. Waistcoat and no shirt and... That fucking ta talisman necklace that he often wore during this time period. George looking quite fit. Ringo looking very unimpressed. And Paul looking quite startled, shirtless. Big yellow and pink banner. Don't know what this was about. Don't know what this was in aid of. George once again looking quite handsome, if I do see him myself. <gasps> White album. No announcement. No singles came out before. Just all of a sudden, White album. 30 new tracks. Absolutely fucking mental. Came with all this nice promotional outfit as well. All this nice promotional material. You see in the middle of your screens now. Fat boys naked. Paul in the bath. Ringo wearing that nice snazzy yellow shirt again. John naked on the telephone. Really love it. That's a very early photo. We covered this exact photo much, much earlier. I'd say about four weeks ago on a previous episode. And these four... Very lovely, full-colour photos of the Beatles were also included. Late in the year, George appeared in what you might call a Shropshire tuxedo, a.k.a. double denim, in the Dirty Mac for the Rolling Stones Rock and Roll Circus. Very nice outfit indeed. 
and a very nice version of Year Blues was played live here. Into 1969 now, Paul and Linda saluting Hitler, I assume, and into Get Back sessions, which of course we all know resulted in quite a lot of arguments. Ringo looks very morose there, and maybe after George Harrison invents the man bun and the Yellow Submarine album is released, even though it's quite shit, the Beatles in animated form. I quite like these outfits, actually. Not the first time they were in animated form, either. They went on the roof. George hated it. Very nice outfit. Love that coat. Love those trousers. Love those very nice trends. Love that red polo top. Love Paul's formal sort of look. Also, a very big fan of Ringo's red coat back there. Not a fan of those sideburns. Things went down in the studio. Both of them looking dressed, ready to go to Dubai. Feet. Once again... Feet, don't want to see that really. Why is there a bed in the studio? No idea. John here wearing what I can only assume is a woman's blouse. Alan Klein, the decline of the Beatles. Ron Decline, you may call him. Ooh, seen these outfits before, haven't I? Ooh, come on, very close. There we go, Abbey Road. Another album in the Under the Belt. And that was the cover for a... That's fucking terrifying... A US album called Hey Jude, the Beatles' last photo shoot together. Very nice photo of Paul there and Ringo and John. Sort of shows how far... The Guardian newspaper shows how far they had come from the early days, looking very dirty in those leather jackets, to looking very clean in suits, to looking very dirty again, but this time not in leather jackets, in fucking who knows what those outfits are. And then sort of let it be trickled out the asshole with the Beatles at the um, bum old end of their career. But I think we'll end on that very nice photo of all the Beatles together. And this has been the Beatles Fashion Review, episode three. If you would like to see the Beatles Fashion Review, episode four, covering the solo years, feel absolutely free to comment below if you thought this was... Ah! If you thought this was an absolutely shockingly shite video, feel free 